Hendrix, El Mermita Basement Show Marie 23. I wanted to show you um, the the finished working turntable. But before we do with the mechanical, I want to talk about the electrical because this is where it's tricky. I assume you may hear an AC hum. Uh, yeah, um, it's getting AC hum from something. I gotta figure. Let's see. Oh, what happens with this? Yeah, that might work. If I attach uh, these wires to the ground screw. All right, anyway, let's see what this guy here. <laughs> now, um, this is a magnetic preamp, and unfortunately, we're using a ceramic cartridge. So I had to come up with this homemade adapter to bring these things down a lot. So it wouldn't buzz, okay? And of course you have the earth wire hooked up and this is going to the mixer board. The turntable, I replaced the spring, that was bad. Uh, the spring I bought was pretty close to the right size. It had a little more torque to it than the original bronze spring. Um, the um, clean the turntable mechanism so it would look nice. And I will work on the AC home business in a little bit, but let me show you how this works. Because last time I tried to show you this and I couldn't get it to work as a demo. You see that little arm that goes in there, it sizes the record, goes down, and then the cartridge gently places itself on the record. And I already know I'm going to be demonetized for this one anyway. So, for those of you who don't know, this song is the song that we used on the uh, other video. And when you're done with that, or if you want to skip the record, just push to reject and up it comes. Sizer notices there's no more records, and then it shuts off. Perfect. That's how it works. Um, so it looks like I need to attach um, some grounding material between the uh, input posts and the preamp um, because those wires are not inside a box. I'm sending a 60 hertz hum through. No big deal. Rising up the old siren iron and let's go to town. <laughs> so that's it. That's all I want to show you is mechanically the turntable is fine. It works fine on the uh, portable amplifier too. Um, the speed's finally close to right. It might be still slightly off, but it's not because it's slipping anymore. Um, uh, but I mean, the motor is certainly well lubricated and cleaned, and uh, the dust is gone. And uh, so. Our 60-year-old turntable is ready to go back to work again. It was made in 1962. It's a Gerard 210 turntable, and it has been a long playing record player. I'm the second owner of it. The first owner of it um, sold it to me about 1985 at a tag sale. And it's been a steady performer for years, and so I never saw a reason to replace it. But one to do new mechanical types across it is a backup turntable. So um, that's the story with the crossley. It's a backup turntable. So what I'm going to do is let me see if I can attach another piece of wire to those two um, leads. And uh, see if we can get rid of the buzz, which I should be able to do. It's just a simple little project you can make. For, if you want to hook an old ceramic turntable into a magnetic input, uh, it consists of a 12K ohm resistor as a, a crossing between the um, shield and the braid of the input, and then a, 20, a 200 picofarad capacitor between the ceramic cartridge and the input of the. Um, circuit and uh that's it it's what it is it's i couldn't even draw it in my sleep it's that simple to understand um 
Because right now, I just got to get rid of the AC ground loop problem. And then that's is ready to go. So, what I'm going to do is let me, go, let me just go ahead and mess around with that a little bit. And see if I can get rid of the AC hum. It's not hearable in the headphones. So, it's something that's in the, the, uh, the stereo system. But, um, because this goes to the, my mixer. And I don't hear the hum in the mixer. But I sure hear it on these... Um, I turn the equalizer off too because I don't need that on. No need to turn make it into an earthquake. So that's pretty much set for flat. <laughs> um, unlike the Crossley, which I have to crank up the bass a lot. The trouble this one, I don't have to do that. Um, so it, it works. That's the main thing. Is finally, I can say that this project is done. Or almost done. I still got to fix a few more things. Okay. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>